Fans have waited a long time to say it, and now they finally can. The Providence College Friars hockey team are national champions. With some clutch goals and some great goaltending from John Gillies, the Friars captured their first title in program history. After the game, Coach Lehman said this win was a perfect representation of how the season has gone for the Friars. We beat a terrific opponent tonight. Um, they, you know, I think that's what makes it a little bit sweeter. That, that BU team was... Uh, they were terrific. They had us on our heels uh, for a lot of that first and second period, and we were just kind of hanging in there, and Johnny held us in there. Um, and I thought, you know, it was kind of a little bit about like our season. You know, we started a little bit slow, but we got better and better. No, I think it's just, I mean, exciting for, for everyone in our program that's put the jersey on in the past, and, you know, like the 85 team that got to this point and just came up short. Uh, we were fortunate tonight to get the bounces when we needed them, and, we got it done, but uh, I think it's just a it's just a tremendous step for our program, and just excited to be a part of it. Um, and then we played a pretty we, we played a pretty good third period, um, and obviously got a big bounce. I mean, you know, we got a heck of a bounce, and I think that got our bench alive a little bit. Um, and then Coach Miller drew up a heck of a faceoff play um, coming out of that TV timeout, and uh, the guys executed well on it. It was just a heck of a faceoff call by uh, Coach Miller there. And uh, Kevin Green did a great job to win that back for me. Steve McParland boxed the guys out, and I was fortunate enough to pick the puck up and get off a clean shot and uh, happened to go over O'Connor's shoulder. I don't think there's really anything different. You just you know that at that point of the game, I mean, first off, our wingers and our defensemen and everyone on the ice were eat, absolutely eating pucks and doing a phenomenal job of staying in shot lanes, forcing shots wide and, and forcing uh, the BU guys to make a play that, that they didn't necessarily want to make. Uh, the building was great. Um, it was an unbelievable atmosphere. I can't say I've played in anything like that. Um, to have two teams from the New England area with uh, us and BU, it's uh, just a testament to how much uh, the fans in this area appreciate college hockey and support both of our programs. Yeah, it's, it's hard to take it all in when you're in the moment like that. You're trying to just focus on one shift at a time. But uh, uh, it, was, it was a great opportunity for our program to take another step. and. Um, just unbelievable showing by our fan base and just uh, just so happy for them and our school and everyone involved with our program and everyone that's come before us put the jersey on. Um, just proud of it. And now to finish it off with the national championship is pretty bittersweet for sure. Uh, it's, it's a great feeling to go out this way. It's also hard because uh, it's over, but uh, it was an unbelievable experience to come to Providence College and I'm just uh, happy to be a part of it. The Friars now head back to Providence, Rhode Island champions of Division I men's ice hockey. From the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.